Hi, this is David Williams, and this is just a short video on how to use a custom indicator in MetaTrader. So I'll just open up a quick system here and go down to Functions and expand the Custom Indicators tab, and I'll drag out the Bears Custom Indicator. And uh, I'll link it by dragging links between the Note and the End System. This is a Note element. It just allows you to uh, put some comments in there. I'll remind you what you were doing. I'll just write uh, test to use the custom indie. Now you can use a custom indicator even if you don't have the MQL code for it. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. See how you float over the note and it even shows you what it is. Now these are the inputs for a custom indicator. You could add input variables and output lines. Now what are those? Well the best way to find out is to attach the custom indicator to a MetaTrader chart and those are the inputs that you have to put in and your choice for your outputs. So I'll drag the bears indicator onto a chart and look at the inputs. There's one, it's a bears period with a default value of 13 and there's one output under the lines, it's a silver line. So those are, that's the information I'll want to put in here. So I'll add one input variable. I can name it anything I want but I'll call it bears period and it's an integer type variable and I'll give it a default value of 12. Now I could change that at any time, but that's just the default. And now I'll add that output line. It was a silver line. Again, I could call it anything I want, but I'll call it silver. And now you see it's in there. Now these will now come up when you uh, go to parameterize or configure the indicator. Now it's just like any other indicator used in VTS. It has all of the inputs. Uh, with their default set up here, you could change them. That's bears, that's the name of the indicator. And down here, you could see the line is already chosen. And uh, you could see that uh, the 12 is set as the default period. And we could build this, and it built successfully. And this isn't much of an expert advisor, but it does use the bears indicator. Uh, and that's what we were trying to do. And you could attach it just by double clicking. And now your bears indicator is attached to that chart and it's running. And uh, like I said, <clears throat> those are the variables that you could come back and set any time. And you could even look at the MQL code that gets generated as a result of adding that. And uh, you just click on the meta editor and there's the MQL code if you want to look at it. So basically that's it. It's pretty easy to use a custom indicator in VTS. Uh, again, you don't need the MQL code. You get all the information you need just from attaching the indicator to a chart.